Yo, my people, them CFC Rinus Blue back with another video and it's match preview settings, man, for our game against Newcastle in the Carabao Cup round of 16 tomorrow. Kickoff is at 7 45, but during my watch along from 6 45, we can discuss the team news and you can get my reaction as the game goes on. And to all my people, them make sure to comment your score predictions down below. The winners will get a shout out in the review. Enjoy your Tuesday. And help me get at least 1,000 views on this video, my people. Damn. But now, obviously, in the match preview, we're going to talk about some things that Maresca said in his press conference in regards to team news slash injury news. As well as that, I'm going to give you guys some match facts. Then I'm going to talk about my predicted XI as well as the score prediction. So I hope you enjoyed the video and enjoy your day, my people. Damn. And now, this is just some things that Moresca had to say during this press conference in terms of injury news. And we have none. There is no injury news. Everything is the same from how it was against Newcastle in the previous match. And any person that you don't see in the squad, they have just been left out. It's not that there's been any injuries because we left out a lot of people during our last game against Newcastle. So they haven't, there's no injuries. It's just tactical reasons. And that's what. Maresca is doing and it's just so brilliant because this time last year when when there when wasn't there an injury update when when wasn't there any injuries this is brilliant I'm happy to know this and big up Maresco for handling the team well but that's just some team news in terms of us we talk about Newcastle they have their injuries Callum Wilson still out you got um Kieran Trippio who's still out in the cells they have their own injury problems so there's going to not going to be much difference from their team from what they had just a couple of days ago in the Premier League where we won 2-1. And that is expected, isn't it? That is expected. But they are going to be the home team. And that will play into their advantage. They're going to have the home crowd and man cannot, man cannot dispute the fact that Newcastle at home are a much better team than how they would be away from home. They've already drawn against Manchester City at home this season. So it's not going to be an easy game regardless of their injuries. So, yeah, man, that's just obviously some team news. That's injury news on both teams. Now I'm going to tell you guys about some match facts for this game. And look at this. During the last 32 meetings with Newcastle United, playing at home, Newcastle have won 15 times. They have drawn 10 times with us, and they have won, and we have won seven times. Well, wait, my fault. We have drawn seven times at Newcastle and we've won 10. Newcastle have won five more games than us in the last 32 at home. Last season, they beat us 4-1 there. We got smoked. And phew, that was a different Newcastle. Newcastle last season, they were a team that everyone was expecting to get European football, top four, these kind of things. But it didn't happen. Now this season, they're not playing necessarily like the same team. But we cannot... We cannot forget the fact that our defence just isn't that reliable, especially with, with there's going to be changes in this game because in every Carabao Cup, Europe Conference League game compared to a Premier League game, there is numerous amount of changes, a whole new 11 majority of the time. So we got to be careful because these guys can score goals and we can concede them. So, yeah, man, hopefully we do beat them because we have beaten them the last three times that we have played them. We beat them. Just the other day in, at home, we beat them last season at home in the Carabao Cup, as well as that 3 2 game at Stamford Bridge as well. So, at home, the last three games, we have won. Away from home, it's quite tricky. But hopefully, tomorrow, we get that W, whether it's on penalties or in normal time, because we need to go through to the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup. But yeah, that's just some match facts. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on that down below. Now it is going to be time for man's predicted XI. And a predicted XI goes like this. So Philip Jorgensen in goal. Right back, gonna go with Malo Gusto. Centre backs, gonna go with Tosin Adorabayo, as well as Benoit Badiashu. Left back, gonna go with Mark Kukureo. Then CDMs. Gonna go with gonna go with Enzo Fernandez as well as Kenan Drewsby Hall. 
left mid, Mikhailo Mudrik, right mid, Pedro Neto, Cam, Joao Felix, striker, Christopher Nkunku. That is my predicted next side. And personally speaking, Pedro Neto did play or lost two games in a row. Jaden Sancho could come in for him, but I wouldn't be surprised if he does not play to keep him rested to go on to next week because this weekend he won't even be able to play against Manchester United. So I don't know if he will play him in that game. We shall see in terms of tomorrow. But this is my predicted exile. I want you guys to let me know your thoughts and opinions down below on that because I actually do think that with this team, Going away from home, it's not going to be easy. We are definitely going to concede. And we just got to hope that we can score goals because this is a brand new attack. Mudrick, you're going to have to take your chance. Draw Felix, you have to take your chance. And Kung, you have to take your chance because these are guys that who want to play in the Premier League more often than not. Draw Felix isn't getting a lick of any game time in the Premier League due to the fact that Cole Palmer is ahead of him. Someone who finished 25th in the Ballon d'Or this season and this time told Moscow there wasn't even a Cole Palmer celebration. Now he's 25th best player in the road. Shout out to Cole Palmer because he's doing his thing, big him up to the highest degree. You are the coldest man wherever you go. And yeah, man, that's just what Joao Felix has to deal with. Go up against Cole Palmer. It's really, really not easy. And if he ever gets to play consecutive games, it will be because he deserves it. A game against Newcastle, Premier League opposition can go a long way for you to get more minutes off the bench. So, yeah, man, draw Felix, you're going to have to take your chance in this game. Just like Mikhailo Mudrik. Mudrik, everyone was thinking that Jalen Sancho, if he didn't play, you might have stepped up to the left mid, but no, we put Pedro Neto there. That's what Oreska did. And to be fair, he deserves to because he's done a little bit more than you. But it doesn't go to it doesn't mean that you can't have an opportunity. You need to take your opportunities. In the last conference league game, you got two assists and one goal. You need to keep up this momentum. Get a goal against Newcastle. Get an assist if you want to stake your claim for being in the starting eleven in the Premier League. Because that left mid position is still up for grabs. There is no guarantees on who will be our starting left winger for the majority of the season. Because there are many, many more matches to go. So I hope. That you, Mikhailo, you take your opportunity. Joao Felix, take your opportunity. Christopher Nkunku, you do get time in the Premier League regardless. But, yeah, man, you have to start, start scoring more goals because if you're going to have to start knocking on that Nicholas Jackson door to make Esmer Ruska be like, yo, maybe he can't play every game. You have to wait and see. But Jackson's been doing so well. And that means Nkunku's going to have to do even better if he wants to start more games. Even look at him in during the last match. He wanted to score because he knew that without any goals or an assist, he's not going to be playing that often. So you got to do your job against Newcastle away from home. It will not be an easy game, but this will be a game that we can definitely, definitely win. And speaking of winning, it's now time for man's score prediction. And the score prediction will go like this. So, my score prediction for this game, I'm going to go with a 3-1 Chelsea win, the same way I did at our home game, but it was 2-1. I do think we can win 3-1. Newcastle are not the same team that they were last season. Sure, at home, they are difficult, but we can definitely get the job done, 100%. So, yeah, man, let's just hope that we do get that and move on to quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup, we can get a step closer to winning our first trophy of the season. But yeah, that is that is that for me. You guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Do you agree with my predicted side? Do you agree with my score prediction? Let me know your score predictions down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, and Facebook for more Chelsea content. I'm CFC Willis Blue, and I'll see you guys tomorrow in the Watch Along. Peace. Come on, Chelsea. Come on, Chelsea.